number of iguanas in Florida has soared in recent years. Now Florida's Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission is encouraging residents to kill them whenever possible. Ooh, it sounded like you got it. I did get them. What is going on? We just got back from Wisconsin and Rob went to the ranch, tried to go hog hunting, no luck. So he's like, hey, babe, what do you want to do? I'm like, Let's take the air guns to go iguana hunting. Yeah, so the kids are with us and yeah, we are going iguana hunting because they've never been. What are you? And we love snail eggs. Oh, snail eggs. It's important to have your batteries on. There's an iguana right there. Curl into us right there. Right there on the bank. Back it up, back it up. Really? Hey, woo. I didn't know if you saw that. Grab the beach ball. I got an egg. Where? Pink. Where? Snail eggs. Look. Oh, snail eggs. Yeah. Okay, come on, Arya. And no corn. Looking for a corn? Something oh, he's giving us the shake. He's two telling us what's up. Two of them, two. <laughs> Look at the frog. Oh, he just jumped, <laughs> he just jumped on you. What's his name? Tim? Maybe Jumper! Jumper! You drilled him that time. He's dead. He's coming down. Oh. I see him! Aria, I see him too. He's right over there. Got him! Good shot! Now get this one. Oh, nice shot. Hey, how many of you coon hunters know about this? You got to shake them out. Yeah. How do you like that? But now you know why there's no leaves on the top of that tree. For all these little buggers. You got a burst eliminator and an Umarex air gun. It's a deadly combination on these invasive critters like these green iguanas down here. I can make a precision shot. Take one out immediately. No harm, no foul. If you see on that post right there, see that? That's a native of lizard. That's a little brown iguana, a uh, brown lizard. You very rarely see them anymore because the iguanas take over their habitat and eat them. You can see he's missing a tail, probably from one of these green iguanas. I may only get one shot at a time, but I just kill five invasive green iguanas with five shots. Oh, I see his tail. Pull me up more. Easy, babe. Easy, easy, easy. Stop us. Oh, stop us right there. <laughs> Hold on. This is an Umarex air gun. <laughs> it don't mess around. Hey, uh, babe, what are you looking at that? A shot. <laughs> Look at that. 
What an amazing big dude. We were about to find out how tough these power poles were. Oh, look at that big, great blue heron. Honey, there's a big one up there on that branch about midway. I'm gonna go around them so you're not shooting right into the sun. Um, oh, I see. I think this is the one they call El Dragon. El Dragon, it's the dragon. Oh, stop, stop, stop. I got a perfect shot. Oh, oh, God, dog, that's a giant there up in the very top crack. Where did I, did I hit him or the tree? Hold on, hold on, let me come around here. Just go forward. I am, I am, I am. Stop, 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 stop. stop. This is a big one, and he's crawling through the trees trying to get away from us. So he, he keeps getting on the back side of the limb. Hold it right there, girls. Oh. All right. Oh, 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 oh here he comes. Oh, and you fell Hold right on, here. hold on, girls, stop. No, don't watch. Look at that. The dragon? <laughs> the dragon. Huge. Look at that. Oh my God. What a giant El Dragon is in La Barco. Look how much bigger he is than you. <laughs> That's He's a like big one. I level with me. Come here, Em. Do you know why we come and hunt these for, Arya? Because they eat everything. They eat right. everything, and it's so important to to not let them overpopulate. So an iguana like this, he can eat so much bushes. That's why there's no nice, beautiful flowers. When I was a little boy, there used to be flowers everywhere. Now. How many flowers do you see? None. You know why? Iguana. <laughs> Iguanas. Do you want to eat some iguana later? No. <laughs> no! Tell, tell Daddy what you do want to eat, though. Um, fish. What kind of fish? Tuna. No, a tuna! <laughs> I thought you said toady fish. You want to eat a toady? Yeah. Toady fish. She wants to eat a toady and, and a tuna. Yeah. Okay. We got some big old iguanas. So good. Now we're heading to the house. And the park, Dad. Don't forget the park. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The girls want to go to the park. So Just don't forget. We got our iguanas. Now we're going to the park. Oh, you don't forget. Just like you know. <laughs> I just stopped. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got fire, folks. Check this out. This is how I start fire. Here a while back, went out to my buddy Dylan Fogelman's, cut a bunch of fresh orange wood. I'm telling you, if you've never grilled or smoked using orange wood, you should try it. It's really hard, creates a beautiful, mild flavor. It's easy to control, and that's what we're gonna use when we cook this iguana. So our fire is doing what it's supposed to. Now, let me show you something that else is very important. The main reason that I do that is so that it were to kill any bacteria that may be living on there that's bad. But I don't want to wash it because if I wash it, we're going to take away all that wonderful smoky flavor. So, hey, make sure you burn it off. You'll be good to go. There we go. Now, that fire will, will be slowed down and it's going to send the heat underneath. It'll come out through this way and it'll all be indirect heat and then the smoke and the rest of the heat will, will come out the top. I personally, I don't want a bunch of smoke. I want the flavor. Let's go clean an iguana. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and we'll take off the top spines all the way down to the back. Then we will come from the middle down each leg. We'll skin out everything working from the top all the way down to the bottom. There we have it. That is a whole iguana completely cleaned out. That's some beautiful teriyaki glaze. So all I'm gonna do is just let this fall in love, just like that. Take our hands and then rub it all in there. Mm-hmm, we got us a little 
Everglades, fish and chicken, and iguana. Give it a nice little seasoning. This smells so good every time I open it. Perfection, y'all. Now, we're gonna put this joker right in here, just like that. We're gonna be cooking this rascal low and slow. Right now, we're about 225 degrees. We're gonna check on it momentarily and uh, see how it rolls. A lot of people always ask, does that really taste good? Well, I'm not in the business of eating things that taste terrible. Mudfish, it was terrible. And I said it was terrible. But iguana, it's really good. It has a nice mild flavor, mm, similar to like a mild pork, or I like it even a little more than alligator. So let's see how this one turns out. Hi, it is really bright and it's dark. Ooh, who not wants an iguana? Not me. No? Nuh-uh. All right, good deal. All right, here. Emma, come on. I don't want it. All right, was it good? Seriously, was it seriously good? Yeah. On the outside, it's stiff and looks dry, but on the inside, it's super moist. Hmm. I don't want any of the hard pieces because it's a little spicy for me. It's a little spicy? Yes, it is. Emma, mm. you don't want a guana? Honey, you want a piece? You can literally pull it right off the tail. I honestly thought I, dest I destroyed this meat. But watch this. It's just going to pull right off. I got a little piece um, of... Get you another piece, hon. Mm -hmm. Grab a cup, Em. No. Let me get that nice. It like feels really, really tough, but then you chew it, it's not really tough. Here. It's good. The outside is more better. The outside's better? You like the outside? It's really good, actually. I'm kind of shocked. I didn't think it would be that good. Can I like, put this um, in front of my spot um, for the meat? Of course you can. She went and got her own cutting board so she could, I mean, she, you want to eat more meat? Yes. Yeah? You can put um, meat on here and cut it up. Cool. And I'll give it Proof a positive, folks. It's good. And guess what? That's all I got for tonight. Thanks for being a part of this. But that's all we got. Take care. God bless. And we are gone.